The Castleberry Police, there they are. That's where we used to wave flags here in Castleberry. They got the the DOT out there. Apparently the DOT owns the property. They they colluded, got together, and came over and kicked us off off of that parking lot and said we can't park there no more. That's all right, guys. We parked somewhere else, and now we're going to stand under the bridge trying to censor us. Yeah, the city of Castleberry. They said we can't wave flags over here no more. We've been waving flags over there for a year and a half. They said we can't, we can't park over there. We can still stand on the sidewalk, but we can't park there. Anyways, we park across the street now. We're gonna stand under the bridge from now on. They can't, they can't prevent us. This is public property right here. They can't stop us from waving flags here. The DOT owns that property. The DOT is funded by our tax dollars. My tax dollars help fund the DOT, but I'm not allowed to park there. I don't know, you figure it out. We're being censored. We're being censored online, you know, on social media. And uh, here in Castleberry, Castleberry, Florida. Hey, all they did was uh, push us a lot closer to the traffic. Now we got to stand here right next to traffic. As far as I'm concerned, all they're doing is um, increasing the chance of there being some kind of altercation. And it won't be instigated by us. It's always instigated by the lefties that hate Trump. The police are um, supposed to ensure public safety, but not Castleberry. They made our flag waving uh, a lot more unsafe, if you ask me. What do you think, bottleneck? Castleberry police, they're, they're trying to censor us. I guess. I mean, I mean that, that four or five cops they got over there to make sure we don't stand on grass is ridiculous. Yeah. So we'll never leave here. Maybe the Castleberry, they must support Biden. They don't like our Trump flags. They probably get a lot of phone calls, yeah. a lot of complaints from the triggered lefties, but hey, man, freedom of speech. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. Do you think the cops are biased, or they just cave into the pressure from the pub, uh, le public, uh, you know, the lefties? I think their leadership is leftist. You think so? Yeah, the rest are out just doing their, their job, pretty much. That is, that is, um, utility land but they never bother us until we start coming out here yeah. more and more of us how long we've we been coming out here bob almost three years and they've, they've well, i don't know if it's been that long oh yeah <laughs> has so. it yeah and they've they've kicked us out of there twice so we come here yeah and they never left us alone when the bm blms are out here right because if they had to kick us out they would have had to kick them out yeah. and that's a no-no what do you think what do you think joyce about them kicking us out and not letting like, us stand there how, for how many years we have been parking over there at least two years like two years or so yeah. like since yeah. i i started coming here yeah. like two years or so and for them to do that especially we are not doing anything yeah. we are not being violent we are not doing like anything that yeah. really breaks the law what, why do you think they uh, are kicking us out why what do you think i think on? it's political yeah i think it's political i think people show up at the commission meetings the lefties and complain about us because we're here every tuesday Maybe. We're always here. And you know the lefties go to the commission meetings and complain about us. Yeah. And they're caving to that. Yeah, and the grass, like with the grass, is public prop public property at, at the end. Well, we can go over there and stand on the sidewalk, but we can't park there. So we're going to stand here under the bridge where there's shade, and we're going to park well, over by the 7-Eleven. Well, it's better right now because uh, it's hot. Yeah. <laughs> and you go to the shadow. Yeah. They, I think they're doing us a favor. Yeah. Now we can stand in the shade. You can't stop us. You can't silence us. The Democrats haven't taken away our, our First Amendment rights yet. Yet. They got them half taken away. You know. You got free speech in public. And you got freedom of speech online. Freedom of speech online is almost gone. All we have left where it's all equalized is in public. And look what they're doing to us. You can't take it. You can't just put your tail between your legs and go home. No, you can't do that, man. You gotta resist. If you want freedom of speech down the road, you gotta fight for it now. Yeah, hey guys, all these people standing around over there, uh, 
they all get paid by our taxes. They've been standing there for hours and they'll probably be there for who knows how many more hours. Trump, Trump baby! Yeah. We've been waving flags over there for almost two years now. Yep. And the uh, Castleberry police have kicked us out. They needed four guys to push out this group because we're apparently so uh, violent. We're insurrectionists. We're insurrectionists. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, I think I think the average age over here is about 55. Yeah. And what are they afraid of? Maybe I guess Castleberry. They're for Biden. They like they like uh, everything Biden's doing. And the Department of Transportation. Yeah. Who in the Department of Transportation made this decision? Yeah. And does uh, Governor DeSantis know about this? Which I doubt he does. He's got a lot of stuff going on. But I think most um, government employees are probably left because they got an easy, cushy job and they probably can't be fired. And they don't want anybody ruining it. Well, look what you got. You got two or three guys over there getting a detail today. So they're gonna stand there and they're gonna get whatever they're getting an hour to do nothing because they could have walked up, the DOT guys could have walked up here and said, you know, we're sorry, but the decision's been made and we would have moved. Yeah. Because we're not insurrectionists. We're not the left. We're well, technically the guys that are over there, it probably wasn't their decision. They're just following orders. No, no, so no, no, in, no. in their defense, I guarantee you, none of those guys over there had a decision in kicking us oh, out no, of there, no, but no, still, we're irritated with them. No, I don't think they did. I think that, that the, the powers that be could have sent, knowing this group, two guys over here and said, look, you can't be here, and that would have been it. They could have just left us alone. We weren't hurting anybody. Exactly. We're just exercising our freedom of speech. Exactly. you think they would at least appreciate that. For all I know, these guys are on our side, but... They could be. They, they just, could be. They Who could knows? Be. You know, don't shoot the messenger, I guess. With what's going on? I'm here? still irritated with it. What's going on in this country? And you see Biden, what he's doing over there in Ukraine, talking about regime change in Russia. You think that's not going to start trouble? Yeah. What a damn fool. Yeah, he's an idiot. That'll be my next video. Biden's an idiot. There you go. So, Marie, uh, the cops and the DOT, they kicked us off of our spot. Uh-huh. I think they might have done us a favor because it's nice and shady over here. I like it here. Yeah, yeah. I get used to it. Yeah, definitely. It's a new spot every Tuesday under the bridge. Definitely. And if it rains, we're we don't good. have to get wet. The sun shines. Why do you think good. they kicked us off, Marie? Well, I have my thoughts on that. What do you think? Uh, well, I just think um, F dot, you know, just doesn't like the fact that we're there. They mm. think that we're gonna destroy something. Oh, they're abandoning ship now. They're leaving finally. Yeah. It's not going to deter us, though. We're yep. still going to come out and wave our flag. We're going to be here. Yeah. We're going to be here. Every Tuesday under the bridge. Hey, Jesse, if we were Black Lives Matter, would they? you think they would have kicked us out of there? No. Yeah. They'd let us stay. Yeah, they would. Because yeah. if you kicked out Black Lives Matter, that'd be racist. Yep, that's right. <laughs> Brenda, why'd they kick us out over there? Because they hate the patriots. They hate patriots? Yeah. If we were BLM, they would let us burn, loot, and murder. But because we're patriots and we stand up for our country, they hate us. And we're just peacefully protesting. Yeah, we don't block traffic. The worst we say is, let's go, Brandon. Yeah. And when I say peaceful, we haven't killed anybody and burnt anything no, down. We've been we haven't destroyed any property. It's because we're white, Brenda. They hate whitey. I know. Let's go, Brandon. What do you think, Miguel? They kicked us off of our uh, favorite spot. They, I think they think that it's going to make us leave. Not gonna happen. It's nah. constitutional to stand right here on this any sidewalk we want. Yeah. Anyone. This is public we property want. right here. Yes, it is. They can't we, kick us out. Us working is how this got built. That's it's it. how it's. That's how they're getting paid because we go to work and our tax get taken out and goes right to them. Yeah. So, hey, freedom of speech. It was so important. They made that the first. That's amendment. why. But that's why we got the second to protect the first. Yeah. We need them both. Yes, we do. We need all of our amendments. Yes. Biden had his way, he'd rewrite them. 
He said he thinks the Constitution is malleable. He says, no, I remember when he was talking about the guns, he says that the government is not ran by the people. I mean, it's run by them. They are the people. No. I said, no. That's ass backwards. Come on, know? dude. It literally says it right here on the Constitution. We the people, the first four letters, three letters, whatever it is, <laughs> for words. Yeah, you it's got it there. on your arm, man. It says yeah. it there. It's the first words there. Joe we Biden's the been people. a He's been a politician for 50 years, and he still doesn't understand what the Constitution what is. Dude, that man he's never has. He's never has. Like, yeah. like let's just be real, from back in the 90s. The man has just literally has said whatever he felt like and never got any repercussions, yeah. never been grilled by the media. Like he's got the media in his pocket. Yeah. That's where that's where the media is at. And that's yeah, why we're in this situation. We're in now. a crazy spot where Joe Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, and Nancy Pelosi, they're the three most powerful politicians in this country. That's crazy. What I don't get is how have they been able to do that for so long? And that's why. I say I love what Trump did about waking everybody up and making us realize there's people in Congress and stuff like that and in any offices for 40, 50 plus years. That's that's ridiculous. Yeah. I am all for term limits, but I am not for changing the Constitution to do that. Uh, because then that gives them the right to go and switch up whatever they feel like. That I wonder what George Washington would do. <laughs> George Washington! Uh, <laughs> what if you don't want to go that route, maybe? He would jump on that horse, <laughs> bloop, 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 right up to their offices, and that's what it's that's what it's gonna take, honestly. It, they're trying to jack up these gas prices because they know how many times do we go to DC over yeah. anything? Yeah. Three they jack up these jack prices. People are thinking twice about going to DC now. Like, hell, we got people that can't come to the flagways because they can't afford gas. Yep. And they need to locally. save their money for food. People are gonna start starving to death pretty soon. You see the gas going down, this up and down. It's like a stock market themselves. Yeah. It's like their own little stock market. We're in big trouble, man. We gotta we gotta take the house and the Senate at the midterm, or we're gonna be screwed. Follow me on Rumble! Do it!